I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be how to get her phone number in seconds. In other words, this is a technique that I'm going to teach you on how to walk up to any woman anywhere, quickly tell if she has mutual interest, and be on your way within seconds with her phone number. As a matter of fact, I've done this in 30 seconds or less. And so I'm going to tell you about it. I got an email here from a guy, and he says, Hey, Corey, I hope all is well. I've been doing good, but I'm starting to look around more as I am starting to realize that the girl I'm with is not the right match for me long term. The only problem is that I've been very busy lately with work and other very time-consuming projects. That makes it very hard to meet girls except for the occasional bar outing on the weekend. I've noticed a lot of cute girls at places I go day to day, example, grocery store, retail store, etc. Do you have any good approaches for these situations? I tend to do well with initial flirting and joking, but I feel like under a minute sometimes that I have with them is not built enough rapport to ask for the sale. Then again, what's the worst that can happen? Good question. Not much. You can say no or say you're an asshole, whatever. Who cares? You'll probably never ever see this chick again. So that's the attitude you got to have towards all of them. It's like you got to get through the no's to get to the yeses. So we're just going to assume that you have the confidence to do this because it's really simple, actually. And it's very low risk and it's very non threatening. And you're not even going to ask for the phone number unless she answers properly to your first and second question that communicates that she's interested. So by the time you actually ask her for the number, you're pretty sure that you got a good chance with her. He says, do you have any good methods for this situation? <clears throat> so here's this is a great question, obviously, and this is a really simple technique. And so like I talk about in my book, and it's a, these are basically sales skills. You know, the guy that I learned from years and years ago, over a decade ago, that I learned this particular technique. It's great because this particular coach, he spent his whole life in sales, and so he applied things that he learned in sales when trying to tell if a customer's ready to buy or not ready to buy, you know, there's things in sales that we call the trial close, which is, you know, the close is basically when you say, hey, would you like to buy this product or service? And that's the closing. And so obviously if they're ready to buy, they'll say, yeah, sure, where do I sign? But if you're, you know, in the sales process, there's this thing called the trial close. And the trial close is basically you're just kind of testing the waters. And so you'll hear a sales guy say something like this, especially if you're buying a car. This will probably make, you know, make the hair stand up in the back of your neck next time you hear this. But this is how salesmen go about telling if you're really serious. And they'll say things like, well, if I could, you know, come up with this terms, I could give you the X amount of dollars for trade in this, this, and that. Are you ready to make a purchase today? Are you that far along in your process? And and most people will think it's just a conversational thing, but what he's really getting at is, you know, how real of a buyer are you? And should I spend more of my time with you? Because if you're fucking wasting my time, I'm gonna say, hey, it's a great car. You know, just let me know if you got any questions, and you know, I'm gonna help those this nice couple over here and, and answer their questions. And it's the same kind of mentality that you're using with women, because you're basically you're meeting women wherever you go. And you want to quickly determine whether you got a chance or not. It's like, are you in or are you out? You don't want to sit there all day or if you're out in a bar all night buying drinks before you pop the question after an hour or two. These are great things that literally in seconds that you can find out. And so the first thing is, and so say you're, you know, I'll give an example. Like one time I was, I was, at, I was out in a mall. Actually, I was at a mall, but there was a restaurant there that where I was like a restaurant bar. Really cool place. And so as I was walking out, there was this really beautiful hostess. I mean, I think she was, you know, 20, 21 years old. Just fucking absolutely beautiful, dark hair, jet black eyes. And, you know, I was out with a buddy of mine, and so we were leaving. And I, you know, just, I always say stuff to people. And she was friendly when we came in. And so, you know, when we were leaving, I said, thanks for the hospitality. And, and she said, you're welcome. And I just happened to, you know, as I was, she said something to me, and I turned around you know, just to acknowledge what she was saying, and her eyes were like this. And as I looked at her, she went like this. She was staring at my ass, and so I busted her staring at my butt. And so as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, this girl likes me, because she's checking me out. And I was cocky, and I had swagger. I was dressed sharp. And so, I, you know, I walked back up to her, and I said, what's your name? 
I don't even remember what the fuck her name was, and she, and she said, oh, my name, so-and-so. I said, oh, hey, it's nice to meet you, so-and-so. And she goes, well, what's your name? Now, she didn't give a fuck about me. She would have just let me go on, and if, and if she would have said, oh, it's nice to meet you, uh, you know, if I said, hey, what's your name? She said, my name's Denise, and I just said, hey, it's nice to meet you, Denise, and she just said, hey, it's nice to meet you, too. And I'd say, well, hey, I gotta run, have a good night. And I'd leave. Why? Because she didn't ask me what my name was. And so, like, a, you, know, you can look at this as like a salesperson. You're trying to, you know, it's kind of like a trial close. Before I go and ask you to sign the dotted line, in other words, before I put myself out there and take some risk and see if you, you know, ask for your phone number, I want to know how, what your level of seriousness is. You know, you're basically, in essence, being a salesman. Now you're going to talk like this, but, you know, get you in the mentality of thinking like a salesman thinks because the way a salesman thinks is I just got to get through the no's to find the yes, and that's what you're trying to do. And so I'm just walking by and make a smart ass comment, like, hey, thanks for the hospitality. And she said something back. It was kind of, I don't remember what it was, but, you know, it was playful what she said back. And, she, you know, I, she laughed. And when I turned around, because, you know, to, you know, acknowledge her and hear her shit, because I was kind of like walking by. And so the hostess stands here. And so I was already here. And so I had to actually turn around and look back at her. And so, like, when I did, like I said, I busted her. She was staring at my ass. And so I walked back over to the hostess stand, and I said, what's your name? She said, hey, my name's Denise. I said, it's nice to meet you, Denise. She goes, well, what's your name? And because she asked me what my name was and the fact that I busted her staring at my butt, you know, it was pretty obvious that she liked me. And I was, you know, we were on our way to meet some other people, and I really did have to run. I mean, if you're a busy, successful guy, you're usually going along in your life, just like this particular guy that wrote me, said and it's like so he doesn't have time to sit there for an hour hanging around a hostess stand trying to make this girl laugh for 20 minutes before he wars up the nerve to ask her for her phone number you can get right to the point she asks you your name then you just say hey i'd like to talk to you 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 know you could say you know you got a great personality i'd like to talk to you more i'd like to chat with you more but i gotta run what's your phone number? I mean, you just pull out your phone as because this is what always happens right so you act as if you just pull out your phone and say what's your number and she just gave it to me without hesitation. Now, if the girl really didn't like me or she didn't like me enough to want to give me her phone number, she would have said, well, I don't know you very well. Uh, why don't you give me your business card? Or I don't know you very well. Why don't you give me your number and I'll call you? And when a woman says those things to you, it means that I'm not going to call you. <laughs> That's basically what it means, that she's going to reject you. But the point being is if, if the girl asks for your, your name when you've when you've asked for hers said, and then said nice to meet you without offering your name, that's a pretty good indication that there's some level of interest there. And this particular girl, I knew because, like I said, I've been doing this for so long. I just look at a woman, I could tell if she's into me and I got a shot or not. Just the way she looks, the way she floats through the room. And like I said, I busted this girl staring at my ass. And so all I said to her was like, "Hey, I'd like to chat with you some more, but you know, I got to run." You know, I kind of went like this because my buddy he kept walking out to the car. And I think he even realized that I had, had turned around and gone back. And uh, I said, you know, i got to run, but I'd like, definitely like to talk to you more. What's your number? And I just pulled out my phone, and she just gave it to me. Actually, no, I think she wrote it down on a piece of paper and just handed it to me. And, you know, and then I took off. And that's all you got to do. So it's, it's the best way. So to review, the first thing you do is you say, hey, what's your name? And... If she asks you what your name is, then it means there's a good chance she likes you. Then you just say, hey, i got to run, but I'd definitely like to talk to you or chat with you some more. What's your, you know, what's your number? But if you're really feeling really bold, just say, hey, you're really amazing. You know, I'd like to chat with you further. You want to meet for a drink or a cup of coffee sometime? And she'll say, sure. I was like, well, okay, well, when are you available? And she'll say, like, uh, you know, I'm free Saturday. And, and you say, well, there's a Starbucks right over across the street. There's this restaurant called Houston's down the street. Wherever it happens to be, you say, how about we meet there at 5 o'clock tomorrow or 5 o'clock Thursday, whatever it happens to be. And you're like, great. And then you make, you make definite plans or you say, great. If, you know, you got, you've exchanged numbers and then you make sure you say, it's like, you know, I, you know, if something comes up, I will call you. Otherwise, I'll just meet you at the restaurant. Is that cool? Sure. Okay, we'll just meet at the restaurant. Awesome. I'll see you there because you got my number. And then that's it. And you go about your business. If she likes you, she'll keep the date. And if she doesn't, she'll call and cancel with some BS excuse. Or, you know, if she's unsure of whether you're going to keep it or not, she might text you on the day to date. Hey, are we still on for tonight? And so that's all you got to do. It's a real simple technique, and it works anywhere. So if you can handle, you know, obviously, if you're chatting with her, or you make eye contact, and, and you're just walking by, 
and she looks at you and, and smiles like, hey, how you doing? And, and you just go, and she's like, oh, I'm doing great. And I was like, hey, what's your name? You seem, you got a great smile. And she's like, oh, my name's Jennifer. I'm like, hey, Jennifer, it's nice to meet you. And then she'll, you know, and then she just says, it's nice to meet you too. Then, you know, she's not interested. She's like, hey, enjoy the rest of your shopping. You know, whatever the fuck it happens to be, enjoy your night. But if she says, nice to meet you too, what's your name? Then you say, you know, my name is Bob, my name is Corey, whatever it happens to be. And then you say, well, you know, I got a, you know, you got a charming personality. I'd love to talk to you further. But, you know, I got to run. I got the hell out of here. I get my gross shopping done. So, you know, what's your number? You know, you take it. It's like, when's a good time to call you? When are you available? When are you usually around? Whatever. And then, and you're in and out. I mean, you can do it like this one with the hostess stand. It was under 30 seconds. I was in and out with the number. And so most times you can get in, get in and out without, you know, in under a minute. It's the best way to do it. It's... It's one of the lowest risk, simplest methods that I know. So if you find this message of value, you could show your appreciation by going down to the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen. If you're watching this video on my website, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information in this video. At the very least, please share this page with all your friends and family by clicking any one of the social network sharing buttons, which are also located at the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen. And if you have a question that you want to ask me or there's a topic that you'd like me to cover in a future video newsletter, click the Contact Me tab, which is on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me three or four paragraphs max detailing your situation. And just be patient, and I will get back to you because I get a lot of email from the Internet, and I also get a lot from my paying phone coaching customers. But be patient, I will get back to you. And if you want to talk to me right away so I can help you with a specific challenge or a situation you're having, the quickest way to get me to help you is to book a paid phone coaching session by going to my, any page on my website, click the products tab, which is at the top of your screen on any page, and just follow the instructions. And I will talk to you soon.